Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. We have reached level 260 in Mythic Boss Rush. First level 260 bounty, Barracoda Bane, Sage Seer of Dark Moon. Let's see how this one goes. I'm going in with the basic Bonsam the Celestials, Bonsam the Belinda Cut card to open up with, and then three Celestials on the bench. And we're up against Elris Gloomstalker, the Anointed Blade first. That's not fun, unless you have a lot of health. Last time I did this, I did this with Ragnars with Ponzamdi, but this time I will try to use Gutkar, and I believe that by abusing the AI's targeting mechanic a little bit, this can be done with Gutkar as well. Alright, they are 40 levels bigger, and they are bigger indeed. So, I need Ponzamdi on the left, and I need Belinda on the right. So that the left and right most minions will be Ponzamdi, and the water elemental. I believe... I believe this Sinister Strike attack the lowest held enemy, it's going to hit into the Water Elemental, which is great. Because that gives me a chance. Both of those are going to do Fan, we'll do Hot Fire. i to give them some Frost Weakness. This can try to hit somewhere, but I mean, it's going to die to that, no matter what. I cannot help it. If I had, like, real big gut car, really big water elementals, there would be a chance for me to just buff their health with hot fire, so that I would be able to keep them alive and freeze, but I can't do that. They're just getting one shot every time. Also, gut car is going to get one shot if it's ever targeted, so gut car has to stay in the middle. Bone somebody and the elemental on the sides. That's the only way I have a chance, but they have so much health here. I'm not sure if I can do this even, no matter what. Attack left and right most enemies, yes, wonderful, that's wonderful. Because left and right most are the ones who are ready. I'm going to start gaining some frost damage here. Mm, this could try to attack there, but it's too slow to actually get the hit in. On somebody just refusing to take damage. And these hitting into the water elemental so that they will they will end up taking taking the freeze. Alright, we have used two bounces already. We go in for a third. But this is kind of tricky here. Trying to get the third bounce in, but yeah, yikes. We do the third bounce, try to focus our efforts over there. We can now actually proactively freeze that. I would take four more damage if I didn't, right? Well. Even as it may. Doing as much damage as I can. And now it is time to bring New Zao. New Zao got Carbalinda. I believe it's the squad here. New Zao at least cannot be critted. And they are frozen for one turn here. And that one turn when they are frozen, I will use that turn to prepare the Blessing or the Fortitude. Use this turn to prepare the Fortitude. Try to push in that damage and hold back this one. So now we have the Taunt set up. Then the attacks start coming in, and now we have the Divine Shields. The attacks are not fast enough actually this time. So we are going to get in with this. Do I want to freeze this so that they can't do a fan? The answer is yes, I want to prevent a fan. Actually I didn't want to prevent a fan. I wanted the fan to give my give me some divine shields. That was well, I think that was a mistake. Well, 
We can blizzard. We can frost burn. Yeah, should have should have allowed the fan true. Yeah, that was a mistake. If I had just allowed the fan, I would have divine shields here. Now they're coming in at tree speed, which is going to be too fast. Which means that Belinda is going to die. Yeah. If I had the divine shield, Belinda would live, alright. Actually, I have the divine shield anyway. Belinda still lived. Good, good. But now coming in at tree speed again. The others are not attacking. If I hard fire... Sturdy. 151. 10 plus 23, that's 33. 154. Belinda is still dead. Still dead. Even with hard fire. All that stuff. We will still try the hard fire here. Let's see. Yeah, Belinda is dead. All right, then I'm bringing back Bonsamdi here. Bonsamdi can try to soak some soak some attacks. Tree speed outcast attack. We have the divine shields. Blast here. And Bonsamdi. Bonsamdi is going to soak that. Going to return the bench. I believe this is how we go. That one hits over there, but that doesn't kill Niuzao. Niuzao gets to put a Divine Shield on. On somebody also does not die. And that fan gives me some Divine Shields. On somebody is someone that can be sacrificed. I think we will try to bring one somebody here. One somebody is the merc that I really want to lose. Zero speed sinister strike going to hit into one somebody. It's going to kill one somebody. Well, I wanted to lose one somebody. I guess I get my wish. Ouch. Won't somebody be dead? Who can I even bring here? She just dies. I think I'll have to try Shuen. Zero speed tactical strike. Right, that's not too bad. Do I have the time to do an equalizing strike here? 100 damage, another 100 damage. I think I have to try. Job done. I do have the divine shields. But I lose the Divine Shield. No, I don't lose the Divine Shield because of the bar. Alright. Outcast attack. Coming in at 3 speed. Don't need a hot fire here. Then we can push a Tiger Lightning. Fortitude. Hot fire. Pushing the tiger lightning in. Yes, 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 yes. Six speed. 
We have the Blessing. We have the Nova. We have the Pounds. We're true. Okay. Doing the elementals for targets. Sacrificing Born Samdi. We made it. Then we need a Celestial Protection treasure. There is a Celestial Protection. Yes. Just one. Can't get more than one. Okay. Then we'll take the heal power. Heal power should be fine. We go into the nether spite fight. Alright, alright. I believe we can do this. Now I have one celestial protection treasure. That gives me 81 damage reduction. That should be enough. Well, 61 arcane damage. Okay. 154 attack right there. Okay. But no worries, no worries. I'm not concerned. Intone and all abilities target this. 78 damage, that doesn't do anything. These, these just barely don't do anything at the moment. They are just good enough. Character attacks first. Well, I'm going to act faster than one speed here. I'm faster than five speed. Let's going to start blazing song on that one. I think we equalizing strike there. Do I dare to equalizing strike here? Am I worried that I might die? I believe I'll be fine. This one needs to hit into something a little bit and this can hit but a bit. Alright. Taking 73 damage there, but also getting to 159 attack. So far, so good. Do you speed? Give an enemy minus five attack and attack it. Well, I think Nuzo is here for this purpose. Let's protect. Also, getting the damage reduction. And then we can do a firestorm. Could do tiger lightning. Unless I believe. I believe in pounds. We have the additional damage reduction also from New Zone now. So I'm pushing only to the damage there. It's like nothing. Yep. Getting only 30 from there as well. Everything looks awesome. We can do Divine Shields. That's going to be the first one to act. A bit of Blazing Song. And we can just start pouncing. I needed to act with this one, right? Yeah, I needed to act with this one at 10 speed. That was important. It's not a huge deal, though. Just that I now give this one Wind Fury. But I will survive that Wind Fury, so it's okay. This time I remember to act with that. I don't want to give that Wind Fury again. I have additional damage reduction here. I have a Divine Shield on. It's totally fine. They took as much damage as I did, thanks to the Wind Fury. Alright. Come 
Divine Shields. I want to give that one damage reduction. No, not really. So we act over there. Start blasting a little bit with this one. And this is still on the pounce line. Let's pounce that nether spike down. I'm going well. Yep, nether spite is down. The soul breath doesn't matter. We just bounce into this one. Don't even take any damage here. Ha ha ha! Oh. 1100 damage. Yup, casually. Casually bouncing a little bit. And a little bit more. Shu and Gigi, they do. They do end up dealing a fair bit of damage. And they get in that mood. The pounds. The attack is already getting lower. There was an option for me to try to sacrifice Gadka, because I'm going to get a Gadka treasure now. I could have gotten a reroll for a Celestial. See, now we get the Gadka treasure. Then I get one new Celestial treasure. Kitty is strong, but with one, with just one damage reduction, it's, it might not be strong enough. So maybe we'll just take the stats. And bravely go to Lord Bane Hollow. Can Lord Bane Hollow kill Shuen? That's kind of the scary part. Bane Hollow finds the damage to kill Shuen. Have the 81 damage reduction they have. They didn't get any additional attack. They have some shadow and fell damage. But those shouldn't be enough to kill Shuen, right? They're attacking, they're dealing 40, 40, 80, 120. 160 damage tops. I think we will be able to do this. That one's attacking. That one's attacking. All right. That's fine. Shuen will not have the highest health. Let's say Shuen takes 80 plus 40. 120. Shuen can afford to pounce. Start taking away some of that attack so that Shuen won't take more damage. Like there, we just reduced the incoming damage by a lot. Yeah, it's, all, it's looking good. We can do a firestorm. We can pounce there. Job's done. Yeah, we're stealing the attack away, so that only the only the spells will deal damage in the future. And once we're at the point where only spells can deal damage, then, then we're totally fine. Attacking the one that deals the least damage. 15 attack is going away every turn. See, the attack numbers, they're just... They're just going down. 100 damage... Will that be a problem? 
don't think it's going to be a problem. I think this will be fine. Yeah, going really well. Multitude, bit of blazing song. Sure, and just casually ensuring that attacks will not be an issue. They are increasing their shadow damage a little bit. I don't think they will do it fast enough. 106 damage. Yeah, 106 damage is not enough. No cause for concern. And we got rid of one of those already, so they lost some of the spell damage. Yeah, we just keep blasting. Shuen stealing that attack. Especially when we get to breakpoints like this, when okay, they have enough attack to just be a little bit scary. But they don't quite have the attack to just completely wreck me. Then Shuen just reducing and reducing that damage. It's wonderful. Yep, poor Bane Hollow. Again, could have considered sacrificing the God Car. It's unlikely that God Car gets a reroll. Everyone has one treasure, so I'm probably getting two celestial rerolls. I'm sure I didn't have one yet, did they? No, they did. They did. So Shuen already had the protection. <laughs> I do end up with the God Car reroll. That's unlucky. All right. So we have to go in with one celestial protection treasure. Mm, sacrificing the God Car could have been the plan. Not enough arcane or holy damage to really worry. Not enough attack to really worry. So I should be fine. What does what does Barak decide to do? If Barak goes like, hey, don't act fast, that could be an issue. To all enemies who haven't acted yet. Alright. That's great. Barak went with the don't act slow plan. And I'm totally fine with that. These are ramping up the arcane damage, by the way. These have that taunt, so I'm not getting true. Hmm. So I just have to start bouncing through them. Job done. Well, it will take it will take too long for them to ramp the arcane damage. They didn't start with very high numbers. It's gonna be totally fine. I believe. So far, so good. To all enemies who haven't acted yet. Wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Who's predicted I believe I will take 72 damage. 72 damage is the same as no damage, so that's totally fine. Let me just keep working on this. They don't have any way to punish me for getting, getting my attack up. So it's just a matter of trying to ramp before they ramp. They're at 55, they ramp 4 per turn. I think I have enough time. I don't slow the ability used by 2 if it wasn't predicted. That's actually a potential problem now, isn't it? I guess it is. I'm going to have to use predicted abilities. Job done. I can't slow my abilities down that much. I 
all of these cooldowns and slows are actually starting to scare me a little bit. Just a little. We haven't acted yet, that's great. Wait a minute, slow the ability. Yeah. Well, Firestorm is an ability I want to use. Ooh, and Pounce. Yes, please. Let's Pounce. Pounce is wonderful. So is Firestorm. 61. 63. They're ramping up. <laughs> that, that's actually a pretty fun synergy. Oh, but scary synergy. We haven't acted yet still. I'll go with this. Oh, we do a blazing. Some blazing is fine. Oh, one pounds. Yes, please. I need to try to ramp up my damage and get rid of these stones, and then I can get rid of these... These arcane casters who are ramping up their damage before they can reach my immunity level, and... It's all gonna be good. This time, no consequences to not using the predicted ability. <laughs> Other than most of my stuff going on cooldowns. It's a little awkward, isn't it? I'll get rid of the first taunt here. Alright, one down, one taunt to go. They're, at, they're only at 71. I'm glad they didn't roll a higher arcane damage there. It's the highest held enemy instead, yeah, that's totally fine. Keep pouncing. Seventy-three, seventy-five. They're almost at the point where they can start dealing damage. But they're also almost dead. So it's totally fine. Do a firestorm, do a pounce. Almost through the taunt. And once we get through the taunt, then we get rid of these. They're also ramping up Sage's damage, but not enough. Permanent slow the abilities if they weren't predicted. Okay. I can take the permanent slow on this. That's fine. I can I can handle that. We do a tiger lightning after. This one kills the taunt. Now it's and it's 50 50 tiger lightning roll. I really want to get rid of the taunt for future turns anyway. Could have had a 60% tiger lightning roll if I wanted to there, but. I believe I preferred it this way. Permanent slow the abilities if they weren't predicted again. I don't want this to be permanently slowed. I guess I don't really. But now... Alright, first part of the arcane damage ramp is gone, which means that... Suddenly, arcane damage is not that scary anymore. And that's gonna be it. Take away the second part of the arcane damage scaling. Boom. No more arcane damage bonuses. It's the end. Just bounce. 
don't sage away now. Boom. 500 damage. We have finally managed to ramp up our damage. And that's gonna be it. Well done, Shuen, well done. Boom. So that was the first 260. Not too bad overall, I guess. Those anointed plates are a little scary, but not okay. And for a 260, 150 base bonus, 65 repeatable. And that did take me a while, 43 turns. Alright. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.